Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, here's a basic example. So, moving on. <clears throat> What's the resultant when you walk six kilometers east, then walk five kilometers north, and then two kilometers west? First thing we do, draw a picture. So you go six east, five north, and two kilometers west. So what's our resultant? Something like that. And note, we have a slightly different triangle. This is four. And this is, sorry, 6 minus 2 is 4. So we've got 4 and 5. So, pause the recording, figure out the angle and the resultant, come back and we'll check. Alright, so the resultant. kilometers tan of theta is the opposite so I get 51.3 degrees and this is mostly going east and then you swing north so it would be north of east. And notice I abbreviated N and E. You can do that. Or bearing 51.3 degrees. Okay. So that's fairly straightforward. Let's try getting into the sneakier ones. Sorry, let's stop there for a moment. Make certain you've got that. Moving on. The resultant is 11 meters at bearing 125. What are your x-coordinates and your y-coordinates? I'll help you with one and you figure out the other. So here, note the triangle you've got. If this is 125 degrees, this is 180 minus 25, which is what? Should be 55 degrees. Now, if it's 55 degrees and we've got the hypotenuse, can you figure out the sides? Yes, you can. Triangle. So redrawing that. Bring back memories of math, can see? I hope so. Now, once again, double check your calculators in degree mode. So this is the opposite. This is the adjacent. I'm going to do the opposite side or y. Opposite and hypotenuse. So it's sine of 55 degrees equals y over 11. So y equals 11 sine 55. Be careful how you put this in your calculator. Some of the TIs are quite picky about this. I do suggest 11 sine 55 and you get 9.0 meters. For my crude drawing, that seems quite reasonable. So why is 9? Now I'm going to stop. 
actually, I want you to pause the tape. I want you to find the, the JSON direct side. Come back and check calculations with, my, with mine. So pause the recording. Tell me what the JSON side is. Okay, welcome back. This is a very hot news. Cos of 55 degrees equals x over 11. Now we should be careful, that's minus 6.3, because we've gone to the left, but it's 6.3 units over. And, and we can argue about that, plus or minus, I'm not. You've gone 6.3 meters west, or minus 6.3 meters, and you've got my, nine, 9 meters north. Okay? Now, putting it all together for the last question. You walk six meters north, and then you walk nine meters at 75 degrees, <coughs> excuse me, north, sorry, south of west. So you go west, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. So, so you're going 75 degrees. You're going south. And then you swing west to make 75 degrees. So it's 75 degrees west of south. So my question is, where are you? You're here. What's your resultant? Including an angle. Okay, so you guys work on that, pause the recording, come back, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so notice here, the triangle this is 9, this is 75 degrees, so this is your y and this is your x. So. In the x direction, how far did you go? In the y direction, how far did you go? This is the adjacent. Opposite. three meters down. Depending, so, you went up six, minus 2.3. That's a resultant of 3.7 meters north. Now, how far west did you go? Well, that's sine of theta. Is opposite over hypotenuse, or sine of 75 degrees, equals x over 9. Eight point seven meters west, or minus eight point seven meters. So then we look at this, you go up 3.7 and across 8.7. So what's your resultant? So now figure that out, pause the recording again, come back and we'll check your calculations with mine. Welcome back. Doing Mr. Pythagoras. Thirteen point six. 
0.69 plus 75.69 equals resultant squared. Squared is 89.38. Resultant is 9.45. Meters. I believe that. Now the angle. Tan of theta is opposite for adjacent, which is 8.7 over 3.7. 66.96 or 67 degrees. So this is 67 degrees. Now direction. That is. You're going north, and then you swing west. So it's north of west. No, no, God, not again. I think I can remember how to do this. Okay. You swing north. Then you swing west of your north to make that angle. i got to remember how to do that. This is why I prefer the bearing, because that's 67 degrees there. That's 90. 90 plus 67, 157 degrees. So now you guys can do vectors number one. Have fun.